Hi, welcome to the playback. If you don't see this live button right up here, um, you are watching the playback. If you are seeing the red light, then you're live with me. My name is Vicki Johnson. I am an independent designer with Chalk a Chore. I might go in here. And um, I am going to ink. This is a 24-month uh, Levi jean jacket. My little grandnephew will be turning one in a few weeks. And this is what I'm going to make him. Okay, so um, these are our silk screen transfers. You can use them with our chalk paste, which comes with a black lid, and it's uh, Chocotor Chocology paste. They're water soluble, um, non toxic. And then we have our inks, which have the white lids. Um, and they, those go on fabric. You can also use them on um, like porcelain, like cups and stuff like that. I choose not to because I find that even when you heat set them, they tend to come off a lot quicker. So I, ju I just choose to not, but you still can. You can do that. Definitely can do that with this. It was the first one I ever did with that. So you can see that it says love. I used the love transfer on that. So, And then you heat set it in your oven. So. Um, we're going to do this one. It says, Stay Little, Little Man. Okay, and then we're going to put the um, little mountains at the bottom down here. Now, when I did this, I already have the ink mat in there, and I got it situated. Um, but you always want to make sure this has a hood. You want to make sure that you kind of put where the hood might land. So um, you'll know where, you know, if you put the thing up too high, they're not going to be able to see that. So I want it to be able to show when he wears it. Okay. So. Oh, what's going on there? Weird. Okay. Can't see. Hi, Sylvia. Okay, well, I can't find myself here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this going. This okay, is... Well, I can't find myself here. Turn me down here. I don't think you guys want to hear me twice. Um, okay, I so I'm go ahead and what the heck? Sorry. So anyway, these are silk screen. So um, where you see the saying in there, where you can see the white in the background there, that's all silk screen. And like I said, you want to make sure like the hatch is going to be laying about right here. So, and I have my ink mat in the in here, so it holds this down. I didn't have because it's such a dark jean material. All I had was this um, ocean mist, which is a really light blue. And then I have the tide, which is like a teal, dark teal. So I, the one's too dark to be on there. One I did, was going to be too light. So I kind of mixed them together and got this really lighter teal. I'm hoping it looks okay. Still debating whether I'm just going to go with the uh, ocean mist. I want it to show, I want it to show up. I just want to kind of center it, push it down, and then we'll have our, kind of where the little man goes in there, we'll kind of have that mountain thing go up into that. And I will move the hat out of the way so I don't get ink on it. I'm gonna make sure that it's all pushed down and there's no little bubbles. I really don't have time to go out and find another one of these. So wish me luck. Hmm. 
my original thought here. And I'm just gonna bring it down to the silk screen. You don't have to rush because ink doesn't dry as fast as the chalk, so you can go at a nice even pace. I don't want to press too hard because you don't want to press it down too hard where the transfer kind of lifts up a little and allows that ink to go th in and you'll get bleeding and you won't have a nice crisp um, line on your lettering. I'm going to continue on with this color. I kind of like the way that it did turn out, so glad I did it. And I, the one with the ocean mist, because the um, mountains I'm going to do in storm, which is a light gray, and they're pretty close together. And I, you know, I wasn't sure that there would be enough contrast between the two. And I just want to make sure I don't go off the edge here. I'm just going to take my sweet time here. I'm not get in a hurry. Pay attention when I'm talking. <clears throat> and I hope you guys can hear me because my mic is way over here. So if you're having a hard time hearing me, let me know. I've got ink on my finger, so stop right now before I get it on the jacket. Always check your fingers. You don't want to get any ink outside of this. this in the water over here and of course I don't have my you can kind of see it turned out really nice <clears throat> and then I'm going to take the rest of this <clears throat> I'm sorry I have no voice allergies and all that good stuff I have these little, they're little um, containers. I get them at Walmart or you can get them at um, Dollar Tree, wherever. And 
I'm going to put my extra that I have in here so I don't waste any of this inside this jar. So the next time I want to use this color, I can. on the fingers again. <coughs> Excuse me. And then just zip it up. I have that one. And then I have, this is a orange color I made the other day for something I had to do. When you don't have colors you need, you can mix the ones you do have and try to get as close to the one that you do need. Ugh. Okay. ready to go and this is called storm and it's just a gray not a dark gray but not a really light gray it's kind of a medium colored gray okay what I'm gonna do is bring down the ink mat so it's down here And you got to be careful too because I have the front of this has the um, zipper and pockets and it makes it a little not so flat and even to and if you press too hard it will cause this to kind of lift up and then it'll go up underneath there and you want to be careful about that just take your time down there really quick. I always say really quick, but I'm not doing it really quick. Well, I don't know where that came from. There was some white in there, so that's going to be on the shirt. I don't know where that came from. Might have been on the uh, squeegee itself. Okay, let me get this out of the way. out of the way. I'll lift this up so you guys can see. What you think? Let me know. Make sure I'm not laying it in anything. And then I'm gonna let this sit overnight and then tomorrow I will heat set it. 
And then this is about where the hat will lay. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off, get the stuff cleaned up, get ready for work tomorrow. Um, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. I'll be on Chalk Live tomorrow at 8 o'clock. So maybe I'll try to be on, on either Saturday or Sunday night. So we'll do something fun. Have a good night. Be kind to one another. Stay safe. God bless. Bye.